Hey guys, just want to say thanks for uh, watching all my uh, videos so far up to date. Um, or whatever you've watched, uh, just thanks for tuning into this one anyhow. Um, today I'd like to talk a little bit about my uh, my uh, uh, participation in Alcoholics Anonymous and what it means to me and how far I've come along and uh, where I'm at today in the program. Uh, uh, let's see, I've, I started, uh, well, I actually started in 2006. Um, I was, um, I had, I was driving a truck semi for a living for a living and um and I had gotten my second DUI thought the world was over uh, lost my license lost my career as a truck driver was on the verge of losing my house my vehicles my brand new Harley Davidson um, you know uh, so I went to a few meetings and did not understand anything they were talking about. Uh, did not want to speak. I couldn't talk. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Um, I made it only to maybe five or six meetings. Um, and then I waited until... I didn't go back until to June of 2010. And... I, so all those things did happen to me. I did lose my house. I did lose my Harley. I did lose my job, uh, my truck, my pickup truck. Uh, everything I had, I lost. Um, and this was 2010, so it was four years later. Um, and... At this time, I also had something else. Um, I had a horrible accident at a different job in which I had to have two back surgeries. And I had that to deal with. And on top of alcoholism, I had a drug problem. Prescription drug, pain pills, and anxiety pills. Uh tap it off. Um, those are not good to be taking while you're an alcoholic. And I didn't know so at the time. Well, I kind of knew. I had, an I had an addictive personality. I knew I'd get hooked on that shit. I liked all that stuff anyway, you know. I knew I'd get hooked on everything. I knew I'd get hooked on that stuff. Uh, but did it anyway. Uh, you know, little did I know how powerful that stuff was. And, um, got, so I got back to AA in 2010 and thought I was working a good program, 2010, 2011. Got to the, the end of 2011, I was working the program, working the steps. Um, I got to... I got through, I, I got, I had good, two good sponsors, um, my second sponsor, we worked up, t up until the eighth step, and that point, I had gotten in trouble, um, what that medication was doing to me, um, particularly the anxiety medicine, which was a Xanax, um, was I was stealing from retail stores and I was not too, um, not too cautious about it and I ended up getting caught twice. So, anyhow, at the end of 2011 I thought I was going to jail and the, from what I had heard from the past that 
uh, detoxing off of those anxiety pills was a lot worse because I, at this time, I had already detoxed off of pain pills and knew what they had felt like and had been there and done that and heard that the anxiety pills was 10 times, 100 times worse than that. So I went into detox in the hospital and did it and at the end of 2011 and the beginning of 2012 and and got clean off of the um, benzos which are anxiety pills and uh, <laughs> it was a lot worse than getting off of the pain pills oh my gosh but anyhow I got a couple of videos about that but um so anyhow now it's eight months later, um, and it took pretty close to eight months to start to feel better. From it's you know it's August 2012 right now, and it took about eight months to um, get off of the to feel better from the withdrawals from the anxiety pills and during this whole time I haven't drank I relapsed one time and a few times in 2011 maybe once or twice in 2010 I have not relapsed on alcohol in 2012 I haven't relapsed in anything in 2012 except for a anxiety pill around March a couple anxiety pills around March um, but anyways um, I forgot what I'm getting at so uh, marking my steps so anyhow I get a new sponsor uh, just because my sponsor my old sponsor for my second sponsor when I went into detox because I thought I was going to jail for this whole stealing thing uh, yeah, and I didn't end up going to jail. I'm still going through the court system eight months later. Um, uh, my my old sponsor didn't. I, I just still still to this day, I don't think he knew what I was going through with the withdrawals from the anxiety medicine because it was nasty. I couldn't make it to the bathroom, let alone make it to an AA meeting, and it just got terrible. And he was pushing me too much, and I didn't like that, and we went our separate ways, and that was that, but, so, why I'm making this video is, I'm, I'm happy, uh, I have a really great set of guys who I go to a meeting called the Wanderers Meeting that I attend to on Tuesday nights, um, and I just got a new sponsor, He's got 31 years of sobriety. He runs a good program. He knows what he's doing. He's a very, <laughs> I'm just very glad and honored to uh, to be in, in, in the presence of a, of a lot of these guys that I am in this group with. Um, one guy's got 20 years. One guy's got 30 years. One guy's got 10 years. Another guy's got 13 years, another guy's got 22 years, and there's me who's got, I don't know what I have, two and a, a little over two years in the program. But, um, so that's me. I, I, I love the Alcoholics Anonymous program. I have messed up a few times, but, uh, right now with being off of the anxiety pills and the uh, I, I've got th th all my anxiety. I, I I feel the best today that I ever have in my life. Um, I don't have the urge to drink. I don't have the urge to take any pills. I don't. I just feel so calm and so serene right now. I feel awesome. I just have not felt this great in a long, long time. I can't even remember when. And things aren't even going that great for me. And I feel awesome. So 
I just feel great I and mean, I just thought I'd make this video hopefully I didn't ramble on too long but uh, thanks for watching any questions let me know maybe I'll make another video thanks a lot